Yeah. So, um, I think we can start. Welcome all to this second meeting about areas where it is actually possible to start contributing low scale, even if you only have a few minutes available. Um, the first meeting was about translation and now we're looking into support and uh, the wonderful thing with support is that we all continue learning all life. And that means that even if you think that you don't know anything, I'm quite sure that you will know something that your neighbor doesn't know. And in the same way, there are things you can learn from your neighbor. So uh, a critical thing for the usefulness of WordPress is the possibility to share knowledge, to ask questions, to discuss, and perhaps get some new ideas for how you can troubleshoot something. And um, of course, you can always contact some commercial company and uh, make an arrangement with them that you will pay a certain amount of money and they will fix things for you. But uh, a very nice thing with WordPress is that you actually can do a lot of things on your own by looking through the documentation, which is a different team, and by asking questions or helping out. And uh, if for you oh, WordPress is a useful thing, then Helping other people who are just getting started with WordPress can be a very nice way of giving back to the community by welcoming more people. Um, so there are just a few of us here. Um, I am, I will just say a couple of words about my, me. I'm Swedish. I live in Spain. Um, and uh, I happen to be one of the global uh, moderators on the WordPress forums. And, um, uh, but I'm not very active there, but okay, I'm one of the few people who can cover up when it's like morning time in Europe at the same time as America, where most of the moderators are lo um, located. Uh, they are sleeping hopefully sound asleep so we can help in getting getting rid of some spam that suddenly pop up uh, in the wrong hours or something but besides that um, i i am also quite an active um, support contributor in the swedish forums so one thing i always want to remind people about is that the forums is not only in English. You've got Spanish forums that are huge and very active. You've got French forums and a lot of different other languages. And uh, Satya, uh, have you been involved in the Hindi forums? Are they active? No, not yet. Okay, you're I started reading uh, handbook, but no. Okay. I guess, I guess in general, people in India are too good at English. So why bother writing in Hindi, right? But uh, uh, at one point, I think making WordPress more available in Hindi may be a good thing to spread it to even more people. Yeah. Okay. Um, who else? Um, we've got people from Switzerland, Italy, um yeah vietnamese i guess and uh, of course um nigeria so um, just uh come in step in say a couple of words how it is and uh, what relationship you've got with support and uh, i'm not going to say who should speak in what order so who is first at the microphone can start talking just uh, patrick is from kenya yeah. Not Nigeria. Oh yeah. Sorry. And no, no, no problem. And um, 
I am not really involved in support. I'm here because I'm a facilitator in the mentorship program. Um, okay. And no, I have not replied in the French forums. <laughs> okay. I, I'm Patricia from the French speaking part of Switzerland. And we use the French local, but I have not participated into that because I do a lot of other things. And um, actually, now that the call is started, if you don't mind that I, I will not maybe not stay until the end because I have another meeting. Sure. But everyone and all mentees, uh, please uh, ask all, all the questions to Toby. Torbjörn is Toby, actually. Yeah. And do not hesitate to ask because not uh, uh, no one knows everything. But Toby knows a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and if I don't know, I won't be ashamed to say so. So it's fine. Okay. Thank you, Patricia. And uh, yeah, who wants to go next? So I need to call you out with names. Yeah. Okay, so I go. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, uh, actually, I am I'm not involved like support team either. Okay. But, um, when I uh, when I my journeys and develop my uh, own site and WordPress platform, um, I'm looking for the, some issues and and I and then I'm looking forward like documented uh, document document in the um, WordPress team. So, uh, that's why I uh wanting to want to uh get better or get knowledge or uh, expand my knowledge about the support team um when i am now like ai is so very it's development and go so fast and i'm so and i'm concerned that's in the future maybe that's uh support or something like that ai can instead do you think that's the you know it's good that ai can instead like the people do the support uh work or something like that yeah it's useful <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's useful, but I'm not sure that in the future, that's it like instead totally that that's what we are doing right now, like support teams. Well, I think you you will always need people. And I mean, one thing is when it comes to picking up the new things that are happening or when you're trying to troubleshoot something, uh, AI may be able to help you in some cases, but certainly not always. And um, also, it's a quite nice way of socializing. I mean, through the support team, you can uh, get to know a bit more about what people are around, what kind of problems do they have. And that way, you can get input for perhaps things that would need to be better documented so um, I mean it's all interviewed or if you participate a bit in um, the support then you can get some ideas for things that perhaps would be good to translate to your language because people ask a lot about it or you can figure out that some things were not very well explain then you may need to redo that documentation or something so um i i, I for me it's just a nice team where i happen to land and uh, there are many teams who do a lot of things but um, um i feel <laughs> a bit at home in support and not everyone needs to be there and that's also totally fine yeah, um, Antonella, do you have you been in the support forums? Uh, no, uh, I'm not involved in support, but as I said earlier, I'm uh, new to the WordPress world, so uh, my target is to uh, learn as much as possible, so I'm looking for all the possible ways to to learn and because my dream <laughs> is to to find a job in uh, in this field in the wordpress field so um 
I'm looking to to learn a lot, and uh, I think that this could be a great way great way to to improve my knowledge of WordPress. Yeah, yeah, that's certainly. I mean, if you, uh, for instance, step up as a moderator and keep well daily track of what is happening in the Italian forums, could be a way of better understanding what kind of problems people have you may find ideas for what you could do in an interesting way and so so it can be <laughs> i mean you can have really use of helping other people also by finding out new ways of doing things and so on yeah. or ask uh, re responding to questions that you never thought of before <laughs> yes yeah thank you uh, who you. else? So silent. Okay, I'll, I'll go. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, um, I'm Patrick, Patrick from Kenya. Yeah. And um, I think I've like, uh, tried the support forum uh, those few months ago. I love writing. I, I I write a lot, and I write uh, I write tutorial mostly mm. around 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 WordPress. So when I found someone asking something that I had actually written something about, I was able to answer that person, and even included a link on how to troubleshoot the problem mm. that they were having. So nice. Uh, I, it was it was a one time thing. Uh, I I like going to the forums just to see the questions that people ask, because some of them look so obvious, but then not everyone knows every everything. But then if someone can be able to at least you know point you to the right direction, then it's something that is good. So as a mentee, I'm trying to see um the the areas where I can be able to contribute and support is one of those areas in my list. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Someone else want to? Hello. Hi, Hi Satyam. I am Satyam Vishwagarma. I love, uh, I love helping people with the WordPress, mostly WordPress, SEO and uh, sometimes hosting related issues. So support is something that I wanted to learn and provide uh, to the WordPress community and end user in my local language. I have plans to do support in English and local language so we can make WordPress even more accessible to everyone. Thank you. Hey, I'm, I'm Seth. I'm, I'm one of the mentees too. I um, just wanted to jump on the call because I um, was curious about the support forums and and uh, what, what all goes on in there, I guess you would say. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, I'm Tapon from Bangladesh. Um, uh, here, uh, our language is Bengali, but I think um, uh, I I was not able uh, I was not aware about the Bengali forum actually, so I don't know that uh, what to do. So I'm here as a mentee to learn actually um, how I can contribute in the support forum uh, in Bengali. So well, let's see. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So. Um... I'm not sure if we've got a Bengali uh, forum yet. I can check. And if needed, and when you feel ready for it, you can contact me and uh, I can make sure that you will have it for me even if you don't have one today. But, oh, sure. Thank um, you. but also when you start doing it, there is always a risk of attracting spam and so on. And therefore, when you open a forum, uh, it's good to already have at least some team that will be around and can keep a bit check of the forum so that, well, 
if someone asks a question, at least someone says that oh, that was a good question, sorry, I don't know the answer. And if someone posts some spam, that it gets removed. Or uh, also if something goes into moderation, um, then it's good if there is someone around who at least every couple of days checks those queues to make sure that things don't get stuck because uh, for new contributors, if they come in, they ask a question and it gets stuck and it's just not visible. And after a year, <laughs> you start feeling like, no, no, this was like useless. So, um, so right. there is a bit of responsibility when you open up a forum. But if you have at least three to four people interested in making it happen, then yes, by all means. And now and then you could have a um, meetup or something where you try to recruit a couple of more people, um, both as moderators, but also to try and respond to questions because there are always so totally different questions. I will share my screen, I think, to see where we can go. Uh, I am using... Um, my test account for this because uh, when I am as a moderator in the forums, then I may see a lot of information that uh, shouldn't be made public, like email addresses and so on. So here we go. And uh, in the global forums, we've got this list uh, where you have a link in the sidebar with topics with no replies. So those are, this is a joint list with uh, posts from all the main forums. Uh, this one does not include uh, forums that are specific for pl various plugins and themes, but besides that, You've got uh, questions where nobody has responded at all yet. So we could see here, for instance, someone says log page and nobody has responded to this. And this was in developing with WordPress as a forum. I had a question about the WordPress blog. When I share an article, I want it to fall directly to my blog page but it falls into the subcategory of my blog page. For example, as I mentioned in the picture, it fell into the unnamed category at the bottom of my blog page. Is there a way to drop directly to my blog page without subcategories? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I can understand why nobody has responded yet because um, here between the lines, you can see that this person needs a lot of hand holding and uh, it can be an interesting conversation. It doesn't, I mean, if someone has already published one WordPress site and worked a little bit on it, they would be able to discuss these things, but it may be a time consuming uh, conversation. But here we can see that, yeah, it's perfectly possible for almost anyone to do a meaningful contribution here. Uh, so that was just one example. And yeah, here's the Swedish forum, um, but there is really no point in <laughs> staying for long there because um, it is the same everywhere. And uh, in the global forums, we use mostly English, but you're, of course, allowed to ask questions and discuss in other languages as well. And especially that is true, of course, when it comes to the specific forums for various themes and plugins, because they only have this one form of their own. And they don't have localized forms anyway. Yeah, any further comments, questions?
Okay, then uh, I should mention that we've got uh, a Slack channel for uh, the support forums, and it's conveniently called forums in the global Slack team. Um, we don't provide support there. And uh, the reason for that is, of course, that if people would ask for support in one Slack channel, then we would just get totally lost um, because sometimes we can have 10 to 20 new posts in one minute. And that means that while you are writing a response to someone, there would already be seven, eight or 20 other posts coming in and it would just be impossible to navigate. So that's one of the main reasons why we say that, no, please use the forums and try to make sure to post in the right form. If you're asking about the plugin, uh, post it to the plugin forum for that plugin because then the right people will see it. And that would be people who may be able to fix if there is a problem with the plugin or people who already are using this plugin and may know how it works and may be able to give a better response. Because of course, with some 70,000 plugins in the catalog, nobody knows them all. And uh, therefore it's good to ask in those places where someone who may know the, uh, may also be using the same plugin has a better possibility to find questions and respond to them. Um, if there are any further questions, then I would like to hear them. Otherwise, we can close out this meeting, meeting a bit sooner. I think it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yes, because like we we almost like have a starter, so we should like similar with our WordPress projects and especially in uh, support team. And uh, actually, I think that's like, we have to like read so much documentation about supporting like the handbook guideline. And uh, if we have some difficulties like that, so as you later and so like opinions like it as well. Yeah, good. Thanks. Uh, mm, so sorry, I just didn't read. Was it the question, or you said that we are more or less done? <laughs> No, it's not like um, yeah. in questions. It's, it's more like suggestion, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you are feeling slow sometime, then you can go to the forums, respond to some questions. If you get stuck, yes, you can shout in the forums channel. One thing we do have, I mean, we don't ask questions for ourselves there, but if you're trying to help someone and you have already come up with three different things that didn't work, then you may go there and ask if there is anyone who has some more ideas about how you can troubleshoot whatever you're trying someone to help with. And uh, that's also a way of uh, getting in contact with more people. Then I think it's nice to see you all and um, thank you for coming and I uh, um, I think we're done here. So, yep. okay. see you in the forums. Thank you. Bye-bye. So Thank you so much.